three fragrances that surprised me in 2020. I've been tagged. How's it going YouTube? All good I hope. My name's Grant. Welcome to 2 plus 2 equals fragrance. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you could like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you've not already, and turn on your notifications so you'll be made aware of any future content. You can also follow me over on Instagram at 2 plus 2 equals fragrance. Now before I get into today's video, I'd just like to say a big thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel, because this week I went past 100 subscribers, which was absolutely massive for me, I really appreciate it. And I've also got over 200 followers on Instagram now as well, so I'm a really happy man. It's been a good week for me and thanks to everyone. So today we're going to be looking at three fragrances that surprised me in 2020. I was tagged to do this video by my mate Tim at the channel Smelly Swede, so thanks a lot for that Tim. And if you've not checked out his channel, I suggest that you do so. He's got some great content. So three fragrances that surprised me in 2020. This could have been a much bigger list than three to be fair, but I've gone with these three. Two of them have kind of got the same reason why they surprised me, but one hasn't. And the one that hasn't got the same reason is this one. Number one is Burberry London. Now this fragrance surprised me because I wasn't expecting the quality of the fragrance for the price. I mean, this fragrance you can pick up 50ml like this for £20. And the quality of it, to be honest, is fantastic. I'd heard a lot of people say how nice it smelt, but... It was the quality of it what really surprised me. Some of the notes in this one, you've got cinnamon, black pepper, port wine, and a pop and axe. And it's, it's a really thick fragrance. There's like there's quite a bit of weight to it. I was quite surprised with the richness of it. It didn't quite smell exactly how other people have described it. I don't get the Christmas tree vibe, but I do associate the smell with Christmas. I get quite a strong clove note from this. Now, it's not a listed note. And I don't know if it's the way the port wine mixes with the cinnamon, because the cinnamon and the port wine are probably the two standout notes on my skin. The port wine especially is really strong. And I don't know if it's the way them notes combine, but I definitely get a strong clove note from this. So this one really surprised me. The quality for £20 is fantastic. And for about £30, you can get the big 100ml. So it's definitely worth having a look at this fragrance if you've not already. So the next two fragrances on this list, are the two best designer fragrances that I got my nose on in 2020. This one was actually released in 2020, and it is... Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal Le Parfum. Now, I've featured this one quite a bit on the channel already. I've given it a bit of hype, but I think it's deserving of it, because I think this is an absolutely beautiful fragrance. And the reason this one surprised me is because I knew that I was going to like it, I've smelled a lot of Le Mal fragrances, and I do like a lot of them, but I've never liked any of them enough to pull the trigger and buy a full bottle. But as soon as I smelt this one, I knew I was going to get a full bottle of it. For me, it was the best design release of 2020, and I think it's definitely the best Le Mal fragrance. Like I say, it's the first one that I've actually bought a full bottle of. So I wasn't surprised I liked it, but I was surprised how much I liked it. And some of the notes in this one, you've got lavender, cardamom, iris and vanilla and like i say i've featured it on the channel a few times already and i absolutely love this fragrance so if you've not got your nose on this one yet you definitely want to so the last fragrance on this list was the best designer fragrance i got my nose on in 2020 i was sent a decant of this by barry at the channel centralize if you've not checked out his channel already i suggest you do so because it's a fantastic channel and this one is Carolina Herrera CH Mem Privé. This is an absolutely beautiful fragrance. As soon as I smelt it, I knew I was going to get a full bottle of it. And the reason this one surprised me was, just like Le Mal Le Parfum, I was pretty sure I was going to like it, but I didn't realise how much I was going to fall in love with this fragrance. It's an absolutely beautiful fragrance, this one. Some of the notes you've got in this one are grapefruit, whiskey, leather and tonka bean. And it just absolutely smells fantastic. It's not one you're going to wear in the hot weather, it's more for cold weather, but in the cold air, this fragrance smells absolutely beautiful. If you've not got your nose on this one, I know it's been out six years, but it took me nearly that long to get my nose on it. You need to smell this fragrance because it's an absolute stunner. So they were three fragrances that surprised me in 2020. What fragrances surprised you in 2020? I'd be interested to hear. Now, I suppose I've got to tag a few people, haven't I? I'm going to tag my good friend Mark over at the channel Aussie Fragrance. 
If you've not checked out his channel, make sure you do so because I love Mark's channel. It's fantastic. And the other person I'm going to tag is my mate Scott over at the channel Scott Aromatico. Another fantastic channel. Go and check him out. Looking forward to seeing what you two guys are going to pick. So that's it from me for today. Thanks a lot, everyone, for taking the time out to watch this video. As always, I really do appreciate it. And until next time, keep smelling amazing.